前面这一片就是东晋老古坟，这块就是当时这个要造辅助设施的一些，呃，死亡的劳工集中埋葬在这块。这里呢，就是海勒尔的万人坑。当年修海勒尔要塞的时候呢，整个附近这几个阵地的死的劳工啊，都埋葬在这里。Between 1934 and 1945, the Japanese army built 17 strongholds along a 5,000-kilometer-long corridor from Jilin Province in the east to Heilongjiang Province along the border with the Soviet Union to Haila and Arshan Mountain in the west. The fortifications were designed to maintain control over a large area of land. Such an enormous military project could not have been built without the blood, sweat, and tears of the Chinese, who were used as slave labor. Liu Lianchang was just 17 when the Japanese army lured him to Dunmeng with the promise of work. What awaited him was the brutal life of a fortress laborer. Decades have passed, and he now has difficulty speaking. But just thinking of those years reveals the pain he still feels. After more than 70 years, not many laborers who survived are still alive. Those who are can provide first-hand accounts of what it was like to build the Kwantung Army fortresses. This laborer's search is actually very difficult. Because we know that when he was building the fortress, he was building it secretly. He was because of the security issues. Many people were killed after building the fortress. 那这是一部分人，还有一部分人能够侥幸的能够活着回去的啊，也分散到各地去，哈，回到老家去也很难找到。再一个最重要的就是说，战后这么多年过去了，这些劳工已经年纪很大了啊，很多人都去世了啊，就是越来越难找。Liu Lianqing was born in 1930 in Heilongjiang province. He is in his 80s now. In December of 1944, after finishing primary school, he and his classmates were given an opportunity to become apprentices. In reality, they were sent to work at the Shangshan Fortress in Sunwu County. This teenager witnessed and experienced the misery firsthand. We this the first place? He said it was a church of the church. He was brought to the north side of Shunwu. He was brought to Shunwu for 10 miles. He was a Japanese soldier. This soldier, we know later, was called the Japanese Guantong Guard, the 2645th Guard. We went to the left and went to the left. Because we were watching this 进这个大院呢，周围是电网，用这个刺儿弦呢，铁丝啊都拦着，双岗拿着枪。They were young and inexperienced, so Liu Liangxing and his friends were not assigned to fortress construction. They began doing support work. The fortresses were built secretly in locations that were remote and inhospitable. Between 1934 and 1945, the Kwantan army got labor to work on these projects, either through deception or by abduction. The last year of the labor force was these two. One was a 
，比如说打出广告来，要要要到这个地方来，这个待遇高啊，工资高啊，等等啊，这是一种骗，呃，征征用。第二一种呢，就是强征，因为找不到那么多人，呃，就街上做的以这个抓各种各样的人的名义啊，强征。In 1937, preparations were being made for war in Europe and Asia. Italy entered into a pact with Germany and Japan, joining them in a three-country alliance. The axis of evil of the Second World War was formally created. Eastern China, what became known as the Marco Polo Bridge incident, was used by Japan to launch a full-scale war within China. The Japanese army would secretly deliver large numbers of captured soldiers to serve as laborers on the fortresses in northeastern China. 战俘劳工呢，全部这个呃迁到。这个白沟，呃，山东的德州，呃，还有这个山西以及这个天津，呃，等地，呃，建立大大小小不同规模的集中营，在那训练一至三个月，基本就向东北这个分送。Winters in northern China are extremely cold and long. Temperatures can be as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. The working and living conditions for the laborers were harsh. They had to endure manual labor every day and were given only unenclosed worksheds for sleeping quarters. Many starved or froze to death. Then到了这个阵地上之后，那他们的待遇更是非人待遇，都是住在呢劳工棚子里面。这种劳工棚子呢，在东北地区啊，冬季是非常冷的啊，有的时候零下三十多度，有的甚至低温的时候都达到四十
，就搞那棚里头，有人的啦，有居民人的，人家妈干啥了？那个妈，大一本那个箱子，装皮鞋那箱子扔那里头，完了到脑门上都拉北边那个什么去了，北边那个烂死岗去了就。一个坑儿猫猫能买两三个、啊。我们当时采访几位这个拉运尸体劳工嘛，一位叫呃李有才，一位叫黄世义的。当时他们就是在村里呃有马车，就每年春节啊，把这个冬因为冬天死的劳工他就就就就是成堆就放在那个呃工工地啊或者工事那个旁边上，每年春天就是用牛车拉到山上。他说我们开始拉拉的时候就是。拉一两句，呃，有小罐子。那后来我们就一一车拉二三十个，他就坐在车上，到这儿就是随便找个沟，就扔到沟里了，扔到沟里就埋些土。The least fortunate among the laborers were those who had to build the core of the fortresses. In order to preserve secrecy, they would be killed by the Japanese Kwantan army after construction was completed. Wang Minghui is a local of Heilongjiang province. He lived near Sunwu Fortress and witnessed large numbers of laborers being sent to the mountain never to return. You 挺大的一个，好几间房子，修那个的人没有一个活着的工人。据我们调查，我们重度性调查就是没发现一名这个修筑核心工事的劳工。我们采访别的劳工的时候，也是他们经常就是在山里头就发现一个沟子啊，或者是那个什么的，经常发现这个成堆这种死尸，是很很常见的。说修筑核心要塞劳工基本就是都是秘密处死了。In 1943, the war was beginning to turn. In February of that year, at the Battle of Stalingrad, the Soviet Union forced Germany into retreat. In September, Italy surrendered. The Axis powers were beginning to taste defeat. In November, the leaders of America, the UK and China issued the Cairo Declaration in Egypt. In the grand battle theaters of China and the Pacific, the Japanese forces had no choice but to draw back amid the looming possibility of defeat. At the fortification construction sites in northeastern China, laborers began to resist. Worker revolts, riots and escapes were increasing. Reports of rebellion are contained in the archives of the Japanese Kwantung Army, which are preserved in Jilin Province. A report named On the Escape of the Special Military Laborers sets out the whole process of a riot by special laborers in great detail. On September 11, 1943, 43 special laborers of Unit 570 in Dung Neng escaped from the camp during a prison riot. Here is this tree, which is the tree of the Sunjia Da Yuan. Forty-three men are living in the Sunjia Da Yuan. At night, they are in the forest. There are some sites where they are building the forest. 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 四三年的九月十一号，他们就从松江大院，沿着这沟谷，逃向了中苏边境，进入了苏南境内
For many years, Zhou Aimin and Chen Yunlai have dedicated themselves to researching the use of laborers in the construction of the fortresses. In 2002, they found the report detailing the riot and the subsequent escape of 43 laborers and investigated it over several years. Finally, they located a laborer who had been part of the riot and heard the story of the escape. They were the 43 special laborers who arrived at the border between China and the Soviet Union began their work under the supervision of Unit 570. By sheer chance, they learned that at the end of the project, they would all be summarily executed. Their team leader, Chen An, decided to risk a great escape.到山下以后呢 有一条小河，他说：“如果你们越过河的话，就可以进入苏联境内，你们可以逃跑了。”回到那个他们住的孙家大院，就偷偷地跟当时的劳工队长叫陈恩呢，就跟他说了。完了，他们才制定了秘密
the shouts of approaching soldiers, the light of torches and shadowy figures of the fleeing laborers still seem to be reflected on the river. of laborers who toiled here. Only a few could escape. Most faced a hopeless reality. Today, the bones of laborers, their tombs, and the mass graves bear silent witness to the brutality of the Japanese army and to the misery inflicted on innocent men and boys. この要塞を作るためには要塞を作らせた。During the Japanese invasion, women would suffer acts of brutality on a scale not previously seen in history. More than 100,000 Chinese and Korean women were forced into sexual slavery to serve Japanese soldiers. The humiliating title given to them was Comfort Women. <laughs> 